and trainer is tremendous. The horse ended on a, on a good note, so I, I think he'll be fine, but it is a good lesson for Chelsea to learn. Warm-up day is over. Tomorrow, the true test begins. The first morning of the Yousef Finals in New Jersey is here. Today, the riders will compete in two phases. They'll ride for two minutes on the flat, then go immediately into what is called the gymnastics phase. Chelsea has to do well today to be guaranteed a spot in the McClay Final. But Chelsea won't be doing anything if she and her friends can't find their way to the showgrounds. 5.30 in the morning. Oh, it's not 5.50. And we're lost. Pitch black and it's pouring. Yeah, that's and we're soaking wet already. And we're supposed to be on at 6.30, so we want to be there at 6. You're not late yet. The pouring rain isn't helping the girls find their way. And it's seriously bad news for the trainers. Competing in bad weather is their worst nightmare. I'm not sure if you could tell, but it's pouring rain. It's been raining since uh, 6 o'clock last night. The mud and the, the weather will definitely play a factor today. Not ideal conditions for, for a big event like this. Horses perform at their best on soft, dry turf. Heavy rains mean slippery footing and dangerous conditions. The riders will have to be extra careful to make sure their horses don't slip and fall. But the show must go on. So Frank and Andre sit down with their riders to work out a plan for the first two phases. You can half pass off that left leg and then just go straight. Can you follow that from over there, Charles? The first two phases of the Yusef competition work like this. The riders are given two minutes in the ring before they jump to show the judges how they prepare their horse for jumping. The riders can do whatever they want. The choice is up to them. After the two minutes are up, they proceed to jump a gymnastics course. A gymnastics course is a set of jumps that features quick turns and tests the rider's ability to maintain rhythm and balance. The biggest thing that I've seen kids do wrong in this freestyle is they get too locked in to what their idea is and then they start to rush. Armed with various strategies, the horses and riders tackle the course. So we're here at the U-Set Saturday morning. The rain is absolutely ridiculous, torrential. I think it's going to be a very long and difficult day. The pouring rain continues to make things miserable. Oh, the weather is very nice, huh? And dangerous. These days are so stressful that my heart is jumping out of my shirt when the kids are going. The pouring rain is forcing riders to be cautious and not show off their skills. But Frank wants his riders to go all out. I, I'm giving them a much more difficult way of solving this problem than uh, a lot of the riders I've seen up to this point. I also think that's going to show the judges that we understand the questions that are being asked. We're going to go for broke. Drift right towards the green, turn and go on the outside. Chelsea has no major faults in her round. Neither does her teammate, Maria. Of all of our riders, Maria was the best. Now, it's up to Nico and Clover to show what they're made of. My day went pretty well. I had a little bobble. I didn't collect them as much as I wanted to. They said it didn't look that bad. But I don't think... Do we have any final four chances at this point? Frank's riders can rest. Hope we made the right choices for striding with them. Now, it's time for Andre's girls to compete. Even at this point, we've done all we could do, now we need a little luck. Andre's student, Maggie, usually shows a horse named Peter Pan. Maggie's been working with Peter Pan for five years, and he's her baby. But this time... Maggie McCullary of New Hampshire, number 67. She's riding another horse. Mid-accord excels at tight turns and difficult courses like this one, so Maggie and Andre have decided that he's a safer bet than Peter. I love Peter Pan to death, but the u -set isn't really his type of competition. So I decided that if I wanted to do well, I'd have to ride mid-accord. Maggie and mid-accord knock down a rail. Will this knock them out of the competition? Next up is Maggie's teammate, Natalie, on her horse, Chagall. Natalie and Chagall are almost picture perfect, even in the pouring rain. It's so good when they're done. <laughs> At the end of the day, the riders wait for their standings. 
everyone wants to be high enough to be within striking distance of the coveted top four spots. These top four riders will ride off against each other in the last phase to win the medal. Well, I, th well, I think we're waiting for some sort of order. If they give us some sort of order, we'll know how good or bad we did today. <laughs> tomorrow, right? They bring it out tomorrow. While everyone sweats it out, Lindsay is taking a break from horse show madness. She's made it through to the Maryland State Livestock Judging Contest. This is just kind of like a break. This doesn't have that same feeling that horse shows do. This is kind of normal. <laughs> We're down to earth. We judge nine classes of beef, sheep, and swine, and I go get my group, and I'm gonna go judge. Lindsay is being judged on how well she judges livestock. She'll inspect three types of animals. After she looks and feels each animal, Lindsay will decide which one is the best in the group. Then, she must present her decisions to a panel of experienced judges. Now it's time for Lindsay to pick her favorites and defend her decisions. In my top pair of high-quality, high-performance females, it's three over four. Three is the best balance, most complete heifer of the class. She is the deepest bodied, as she has the most shape and dimension to her rib. Thus, this leaves me with no doubt that in the future she will be a low-maintenance brood cow. Lindsay has made her choice, but she still has to see if the judges agree with her. Oh, I'm so happy. i finally done. I'm just going to wait to see how I did and how I was scored. But oh, it's just a big relief to be have it over with. Back at the big Yousef finals in New Jersey, the results are in. The ultimate goal is to be in the final four tomorrow for the write-off. But today, everyone wants to get as close to those top four spots as possible. Four, five, seven. Which is really good. So that's exciting. Nico is in 16th place. Basically where I expected from what I did. I mean, I made a mistake, so I can't hope for any better. And Natalie's 10th, so we're all really close together. It's awesome. Chelsea is still in the running, but the dreaded water jump is yet to come. Good luck tomorrow, everyone. It's day two of the big Yousef finals in New Jersey. Today, the riders will compete in the final two phases. First, they'll ride in a timed jumping course. The jumps are higher than normal, and you must go under a set time limit. This means everyone is jumping big and fast. For Nico, the day begins on a messy oh, note. I don't know, they were walking. This is Clover. As you can see, he rolled. That means there's shavings all over him. So that means I have to do that much more work because we don't have anyone here. This is my mother. She's angry right now. Okay, so when I come to the stall and I find this horse covered in shavings, his fake tail, look at that. Look at this. I'm going to clean it up. No, you're not going to have time. Yes, I it's am. It's all of a sudden going to be the last you minute. You do not realize how long this takes. Five minutes. I do course. realize how long it takes, and it wouldn't hurt for you to be prepared for once in your life ahead of time. I am prepared. While Nico gets his act together, trainer Andre is about to have a fantastic day. One of his star pupils, Natalie, is up first. Bad day you set was really great for Chagall and me. It's been hard to juggle between school and riding because it's my first year of college, but we were really able to pull it together that day. It was hard because Chagall had to jump higher and more rounds than usual, but he was amazing. <laughs> Andre's youngest student, Maggie, is up next on her horse, Mid-Accord. Normal. Pay attention to the six. You got it. Smooth. You're great. You're great. We come a long way in a, in a month, right? Maggie and Midacord put in a solid round. Now it's time to check in with Maggie's mom. Maggie and her dad have come to the show alone, while her mom recuperates from surgery at home. 
It's driving me crazy not to be there and have a little bit of control. Your daughter had a, your daughter had a great round. So not, not, put your hand in the left pocket for a little luck and hope the others fall apart. Call you back. <laughs> with both of his girls within striking distance of the coveted top four spots, Andre resorts to a little horse show superstition. You need a little left pocket. It's just sort of this thing that we created years ago that without sort of like putting a whammy on somebody, you're just sort of in your head, you're like hoping that you know, a few mistakes happen. You gotta go to all your resources at this time. The hand and left pocket trick doesn't seem to work on Frank's rider, Maria. She puts in a stellar round. Good job, Maria. Great. Thank you. But will the bad luck charm work on Frank's youngest student, Chelsea? Then the seven, one neat turn. Chelsea and Donatello have to do well. If they can place in the top four after this class, they are automatically qualified for the prestigious McClay Finals. Their entire future rests on this one ride. I'm so nervous going to that class. The water jump just freaked me out. Chelsea will have to use her stick to encourage Anatella to jump the water. But when they get there, Chelsea does nothing. Chelsea tries three times to get Anatello to jump the water. She never uses her stick. They're eliminated. Chelsea's McClay dreams may be over. Her poor showing means she has no chance of placing in the top four. Why don't, why carry a stick? For trainer Frank Madden, Chelsea's ride not only destroyed her McClay chances, it was also bad training for her horse, Anatella. When Sloan rode that horse the other day, she, she landed in the water. You're pulling him out. Now you got a monster problem. Monster. Chelsea better start ch helping Chelsea. I mean, that, you know what I call that? Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Until Chelsea decides you're going to start doing things you don't like, if you want to go shopping and buy the nice clothes and go to proms and things like that, fine. I think you're good at that. This, <laughs> you, you need a wake-up call, kiddo. That was weak and pathetic. That was disappointing. Not the fact that he stopped. The fact he did zero. Nothing. By not using her stick to encourage Anatello to jump, Chelsea is allowing him to develop a fear of water. Anatello is a very valuable horse, and a fear of water could crush his value. Next time, just leave it in the tack trunk. Let's gold plate it, just leave it in the tack trunk so it doesn't get broken. Oh, that, that bugs me. And the horse slammed on the brakes, didn't jump it. And the fact she did nothing to get after the horse to let him know that she wasn't gonna tolerate that. You know, basically just threw, threw the towel in herself. She was so, so helpless out there and so weak about trying to fix the problem once it happened. That's not, not great character building. That was one of the worst days of my life. I let everybody down. Frank, my family, Anatello, and worst of all, myself. I just wanted to dig a hole and never come out. I heard she got in trouble. It's hard to help her like when, when it's like this, because you can't, no matter what you say, it doesn't make it better. I just feel bad for her. Mom, it's, it's one of those things. Three people refused it already. Frank was harsh on her, I heard, but you can't console somebody like that right now for that. While Chelsea copes with her loss, Lindsay has found a great escape, the Maryland State Livestock Judging Contest. She's judged animals all day. Now, it's time for the results. If she finishes in the top 10, we'll be very happy. In second place, with 239 points from Howard County, Lindsay Smith. Thank you. I did very well today. I had the chance to go on and compete to be 
cheering on the Maryland team to go compete in Louisville, Kentucky in the National 4-H Contest. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think I got it all. Back at the Yousef Finals, everyone waits on pins and needles for the final four to be announced. I think we, may, we could get lucky and maybe sneak Maggie in there, maybe. We'll see. We'll know in a minute. If not, we'll leave them in heads up high. Okay, I think today went great, everybody. I was very happy with the character of all of you guys and, and all of your horses, except for one person. No, even you, Nico. I've been... <laughs> Nico started going, no, not me. He's going to mention my name. No, but really, a group today, you showed some, some great character. So I, I was pleased. I was pleased. All right, well, good luck, everybody. I thought you had a good showing today. I've got the final four. This is no particular order. Just four names. Natalie Johnson. Maria Schaub, Julie Wells, Maggie McAleary. Well, you gotta be in it to win it, and we're in it. <laughs> Trainers Frank and Andre are triumphant. Of the top four riders, three of them are theirs. Maggie and Natalie for Andre. So it's perfect, and I go before her, so if I bomb it, then she <laughs> knows that the pressure's on her. <laughs> and Maria for Frank. Andre, good luck. Good luck. Best to you. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. <laughs> this is the moment everyone has been waiting for. We begin our fourth and final phase here at the 2005 edition of our USCF Show Jumping Talent Search Program. Fifty of the top horses and riders in America have been narrowed down to just four. Natalie, Maggie, and Maria are there. Now they'll jump off against each other. But to really test their riding ability, the girls will swap horses. Each girl will have to jump the course four times on four different horses. Once the rider is mounted on her competitor's horse, her trainer is given two jumps and only two jumps to coach a student on how to ride the new horse. Then she has to tackle the course on a brand new horse alone. Maggie is used to riding lots of different horses. Even still, she knocks down two rails on Natalie's horse, Chagall. It's definitely hard to compete on a horse that you've never ridden before because riding is all about teamwork between the horse and rider. So when you don't know the horse you're riding and the horse isn't familiar with you, it's a really big test for the rider. So here's Natalie Johnson and Minicord number 62. But Natalie has even more trouble on Maggie's horse, Midacor. Real. That was totally her fault. Frank's student Maria rides all four horses well, with Frank's special help, of course. <laughs> But in the end, all three girls are beaten by a rider who rode every horse better, 17-year-old Julie Wells. Great day. Kids performed well, learned a lot. Maggie has survived and excelled at her first show without her mom. Thanks to her dad. Oh my God, it looks like you pooped your pants. got mud on you. It's time for everyone to head home. The Yousef finals are over. If Chelsea had placed in the top four here, she would have automatically qualified for the McClay. But when the riders get back home, Frank gets some very interesting news. What's that from the, the finalists for the McClay? There is one other way Chelsea could make it to the McClay. If the number of riders accepted from her region increases, she may squeak in. Okay, guess what? They're in. They're taking 29 riders. Oh. Chelsea and Carolyn are in right here. You want to see it? Thank God. Now I can call their parents and let them know the good news. Frank interrupts a lesson to tell Chelsea and some of her teammates who also made it the good news. A little announcement to make. Jesse, where were you in the McClay finals? McClay regionals. 
You ended up eight, so you're going, right? You two guys are on the bubble, right? You're 20, what? 28? Chelsea, you made it. And you did too, because they really think you're 29. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, guys? Huh? Oh, yeah. You made it. Huh? Let's see a little excitement here. I've been sweating for a week. I've been, your parents have been calling me every day. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard? We made it! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We just, hold on. Oh, my God. You're such a loser. I love it. For Chelsea and her horse, Anatello, the road to the McClay continues. Next time on Horsepower, Lindsay and LV compete for one last chance at the McClay. Brian goes after her third medal and a shot at history. That was perfect. And Chelsea pulls a major blunder. Clever move. We're going to chuck that up to a blonde moment.